All right, gang, we are back on Mondays with our Monday team training. Last month, we kind of omitted the team trainings because we were really working on Team Cup. We were working on learning how to invite and track and network better. And so that's kind of what replaced our normal team trainings. I am excited to be back doing trainings with you guys. And for the month of March, I'm pretty stoked about what we've got lined up. Tonight, it's all about branding. And we started talking about this in the team page a little bit last week with building your brand. And I was asking you guys, you know, what other things beyond Beachbody describe you? And, um, and so we had, oh, hold on one second. I want to make sure I mute everybody, mute all. Cool. Continue. Sorry, guys. Um, and I, I just got really excited on this topic because as we were talking in the group about all the different things that make you, you, it just really made me um, want to dig into this concept a little bit deeper because I think as coaches, it can be really difficult. What do I talk about on social media? How do I talk to people? What do I share on a daily basis? And as coaches, especially in the beginning, it's hard to get into a rhythm of posting if you're not used to that. In the beginning um, of my business, I was not used to posting on social media. I did not use social media as a place that I went to to talk about where I was, what I was doing, who I was with, how I felt. That was not a part of Brittany's life. And so if you look at me today, you're like, I can't do what she does. Well, three years ago, I could not do what I'm doing right now either. So it's all about branding. It's all about um figure out what makes you, you, and a little bit unique in this business. Now, you might say, Brittany, I don't have a brand, but we all have a brand, you guys. And so hopefully it is my hope by the end of tonight that you kind of see where your brand fits into all of this stuff. Okay. So I'm going to share the screen with you guys. I got a PowerPoint going on tonight. And I'm actually just gonna leave it this size. I think it should be fine. So that way I can still see you guys. So tonight we're talking about our bomb ass brand. Now, just really quick before we start tonight, um, or today I announced that we've got the three groups happening next week, a Rock the Basics group, a Emerald group, and a Diamond group, okay? To be in the Rock the Basics, the criteria is that you've had to finish the Girl Boss Boot Camp, all 10 self-paced lessons by next Sunday evening. If you are eligible to be in the Emerald group, you must have finished Rock the Basics. And to be eligible for Diamond, you have to be an Emerald Rank Coach by Sunday. So I would love to fill these groups up. I have created these three separate groups. They will all be running regardless of how many or how little people are in them. Um, they will all be functioning and going. And um, I encourage you guys to be connected into one of those because when you lose momentum in your business, it's typically when you retreat back right? And I've been there before in my business where I take it back a little bit and that's when I lose momentum. And then all of a sudden when I decide that I want to pick it back up, it becomes challenging. Okay. And I know there's a lot of pageantry people on our team. There's a lot of people who do uh, competitive activities this time of year. I know that we've got a lot of teachers. So you're just at that part of the school year where it's like, you're getting ready for testing. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. The kids are crazy. Uh, spring break is not close enough. Like I totally, totally get it. And I'm here to tell you that I built my business while doing all the things you guys are doing, unless you're a mom, haven't done that yet. Um, but I know there's a lot of successful moms who have done that. So I want you to know that even though life gets busy for you, continue to move forward, continue to work moving. Even if it's a small step every day, move forward with your business. Because once you stop, it's so much harder to pick it back up. And imagine once winter guard season is over or imagine when summer break is starting to come or whatever, you know, busy season you're in ends up dissipating. All those people will have been watching you juggle being busy and doing this at the same time. And all of a sudden you become a role model for those people of how do you do it, right? So I don't want you to kill yourselves, obviously, right? We've got to, you know, that's that fine balance of self-care, but please keep that in mind as you're prepping to maybe consider one of these groups as well as um, hosting challenge groups. Do not stop the momentum on that because all those people that are too busy right now are going to need you when that smoke clears, okay? So without further ado, we will dive into tonight's topic. Guys, like attracts like, okay? 
in the beginning of my business, I wanted to talk to everybody. I wanted to please everybody. I wanted everyone to like me. I wanted everybody to really get excited about fitness and what I was talking about. And the reality is not everybody gives a crap and it's okay. And so I think in the beginning, it's really, it, it's difficult. It's a fine balance because we're afraid of offending somebody or we're afraid of our friends thinking we're creepy or we're afraid of what someone's gonna think, right? But the truth is after tonight, guys, you're not talking to those people. Those people aren't what we call your niche, or I like to call them your tribe, or you could call them your lifers. If they get you, right? If they truly get you, they're gonna want to follow you. They're gonna like your stuff. They're gonna be wanting to be a part of whatever it is you're doing simply because of you and who you are. But they have to know who you are in order to want to be with you if that makes sense. Okay. So who are you talking to? You can't just talk to anyone and everyone. I used to talk to um, males in my business. I no longer talk to males. I no longer have a friend request men. Men might like something. Don't reach out to them. Right. I I've specifically decided to cater my business towards women. Now that's my choice, but I found that in my groups, when I had men and women in my groups, it was like a little weird for the women. It felt like I felt it. And so I had to decide that for my business, that if I wanted to move it forward, I no longer was talking to the male population. That's my choice as a business owner. Right. So I want you to also kind of decide who it is you're talking to. So I want you to meet me for a second. I know you guys already know me. <laughs> Um, but this is me, me, Brittany. This is who I cater to. Okay. So when I sat down today to create this, I, I really dug in and I could go on a tangent and I know you guys know that about me. I could always go on a tangent, but these are some of the main ones that I came up with. I'm speaking to 25 to 40 year olds, typically give or take to uh, women. They can be single, engaged, maybe newly married, right? I'm not super specific on that one, but um, typically they're, they're kind of in the same relationship zone that I'm in. Maybe they, uh, love dogs. If they love wiener dogs, double thumbs up. Uh, maybe they have no kids like me, or they just started a family and have little ones. Teachers. I cater to teachers because I'm a teacher. They love wine and pizza. March drum corps. They love tank tops. Like when we talked, and if you were a part of our team and you were on that training a couple um, months ago, we talked about building your, um, your avatar. Now this is very similar to that in the sense that you're talking to you, right? So you gotta think of all the things that make you unique and make you you. I love sunshine and the beach. I love Food Network and recipes. I, I de um, battle depression. So oftentimes, because I speak out on those challenges and hurdles and obstacles because I talk so openly about that I tend to get women that come to me who are also secretly facing similar issues right uh, I explore faith I'm very involved in getting more grounded in what I believe in my faith and all that and so people who are open to exploring spirituality and faith and just believing in something more than themselves um, are totally my cup of tea they love to help others they have that servant attitude and they're looking for more in life. They know that maybe where they're at, just that there's more out there, right? That they are capable of more. Okay. So what's your brand? What's your brand? So I want you to write on your paper, meet, and then put your name, like how I put meet Brittany and ask yourself a couple questions. While well, you're brainstorming, I'm going to give you a second to brainstorm, but what is normal about you? Now, when I say normal about you, like these are my normals, okay? I love dogs. Uh, I'm a teacher. I love wine and pizza. Those are normal things in my life. Drum corps, color guard, all that stuff is a norm in my life. Tank tops, normal daily thing. It's so weird that I don't actually have one on right now. Um, those are my normals, right? Food Network, honestly, that really should be the only channel that Comcast gives me because I don't ever change it. Um, so what is normal about you? Start brainstorming a couple of things. And while you're brainstorming, what do you like and enjoy? And get like detailed guys. I know a lot of you might say I like music, but like talk about like what music what's your favorite song right now you know or what is your favorite uh piece of music when you're stressed out or um you know i know like 
rather than saying I like being outdoors, like I know um, Nicole loves climbing, right? And so that's specific, that's really detailed. What makes you tick, yeah? Like what fires you up, what makes you tick, what gets you excited? Honestly, when I can answer Wheel of Fortune puzzles before the contestants, I'm fired up, like that fires me up. Maybe you have something silly like that too. And it takes some thinking, right? What have you had to overcome? What are some battles in your life that maybe not everybody would understand, but the lifer, the tribe member, the person that you're looking for and that you're talking to when your brand, they would understand this. And what makes you special and unique? So we all sell shakes and workouts, guys. There's, hold on, Frankie's chewing the rug. Hey, stop it. You always ruin webinar night. <sighs> Dang it. Okay. Um, we all sell shakes and workout programs, you guys, right? So why would somebody go to you instead of someone else, right? Why? There's plenty of coaches. So developing your brand is kind of like developing your storefront. People should know what you're about. And that's the cool thing about this business is you get the opportunity to be who you want to be, right? Okay, so I'm going to just continue going. And if you keep thinking of things, you can totally jot down um, your brand. But I want you to pick five faves. So your five favorites. And so for me, it would be Charles and Frankie, okay, like my family, my, my little home family. Wine and food kind of go in one category. Fitness, one category. Positive living. I was going to try to do personal development, but I was like, that kind of goes in positive living. So I'm going to put those all together and inspire beauty coaches. That's, um, you know, that's a big thing I like to talk about on my social media network. So I want you to pick five and your five should essentially encompass everything that's under your meet you. Right? So if I took these five things, or if I took all of these things that I wrote down, I could find a category for each of them. Right? So every time you go to post, Okay, and, and we suggest three to five times a day, you know, morning, afternoon, evening, if you're brand new, maybe more times a day. Um, if you're very, very new to posting, that's gonna be challenging. If you're not used to posting that many times a day, challenging, um, but you'll get there, trust me. But this gives you a, a guideline because your five faves are the things that you're gonna post about. So one of my posts of the day is going to be Charlie Frankie related, something about my family, okay? Another post might be food and wine related. Another post might be fitness related, positive living related, and then something related to our team. There's five posts for a day, and I don't have to do five posts in a day. I could cycle through and pick three of those today, and then maybe tomorrow I cycle through other ones. But you want a common thread and a common theme. You don't want to be all over the place, right? because then people don't really, they don't really know who you are. You want this to be a place where people truly believe that they know you, that they've built, simply by following you, you've built trust with them. So I have my cover photo, my current cover photo up here, and I encourage you guys to, to do something like this too. You can go on pickmonkey.com or Canva and they have good templates for how to make cover photos. But now not all of my five faves are encompassed on here, but I've got a positive quote. I've got like my workout clothes set out. You've got me. Um, you see a little before and after transformation. So you can tell, you know, because of these two pictures that I've got fitness going on in my life. And I've got Charlie here on our vacation we went on. And so you get a taste of who I am rather than going to my page and I have a banner that says all access challenge pack with Shakeology, buy it now, right? Like imagine if you went to my page and that's what you saw as the banner, immediately a new friend of mine is going to say, whoa, she's going to try to sell me something without even knowing me, right? But at least this person can come to my page. If my friend requests somebody new, they come to my page and they say, oh wow, look at that transformation she had. And Huh, only you can make it happen. And you know what I mean? Like then they're gonna, th there's some intrigue and curiosity built from that. So I encourage you to play with that. Figure out what your five fave categories would be and make a cover photo that's, that encapsulates all of that. I don't want your brand as an Inspire Beauty coach to be Beachbody 100% of the time. 
In fact, it should be Beachbody maybe 20% of the time, and the rest of the 80% of everything you post should encapsulate your five faves, okay? Now, Beachbody obviously is gonna be included with that, right? Like fitness is gonna have Beachbody with it, right? Inspire Beauty Coaches, that's gonna be Beachbody related. My food could be Beachbody related. Like, I mean, really everything could be Beachbody related, but I can also talk about fitness that's not Beachbody. Like this weekend I did Bikram yoga and I talked about that. Um, and that's not Beachbody, but it's showing that I am committed to fitness, right? So let's keep moving. So let's speak to them. Yeah, let's, let's talk to them. Think about that person. And again, this is very similar to that avatar concept. But what are they afraid of? What's that person afraid of? Like, what were you afraid of when you were deciding to be a coach? Or what were you afraid of when you were deciding to start working out? Like, go back in time when you began. Even if your beginning wasn't Beachbody, because my beginning of working out wasn't Beachbody, it was actually marathon training, right? And I didn't think I could run a marathon. In fact, I ran my first 10K on Thanksgiving. I ran a turkey freaking trot, you guys. And I remember finishing on Thanksgiving Day feeling like a loser because I was dying and I thought, how the heck, if I can't run six miles, how am I going to run 26 miles? And I had no clue and I was afraid. So think back to that beginning of your journey. What do they long for? Like what is in your heart? What's a dream? That, like, oh man, I just, one day I want to be able to do this or I want to be able to go there or I want to be able to say I, I did this or whatever it is, right? What do you long for? That's probably what they long for and talk to that. What dreams do they have that's very similar? Um, what do they need to see to realize their potential? Ooh, that's a big one. And that one struck a nerve with me as I was even typing it because I'm like, man, do I help my followers see what they need to see? Like, do I help them find what they need to see to realize that potential? Like, oh, gut check. I don't know if I do that, right? And so I've got to start getting better when I craft to my brand about showing people that yes, they can, they have it in them. All they have to do is flip this small switch, right? What matters to them, okay? Again, not somebody might unfollow you. Funny story, today I was going through friend requests and um, Charlie's sister popped up, which we were already friends on Facebook, so that means she unfriended me. <laughs> so I friend requested her right back, because you don't do that to me. You don't unfriend me, we're family crap. But like, obviously what I'm saying is either striking a nerve with her or it doesn't matter to her. She's not my life or she's not my tribe. I only friend requested her back because it's funny to me. Um, but I don't need, she's not my tribe. She's not my tribe. She's not going to join a challenge group and I'm not going to reach out to her. It doesn't matter. Um, so what matters to them, right? Again, if you've got somebody in there, haters going to hate. If you've got somebody in there that, you know, you're, you're afraid of reaching out to because you don't know if they, how they're going to respond, then don't talk to them. They're not your tribe. You don't have to talk to everybody simply because they're on your current friends list. You're looking for those people that what you are doing matters to them. And then where are they stuck and how can they get unstuck? Okay. So like, let's get inspired a little bit. Because you might say, okay, I get that, Brittany. I get I've got to, like, you figure out your fave fives, <coughs> excuse me, and you know, like, what you've got to talk about. But, like, how do I get inspired to, like, craft a post to even know what to stink and say, right? So what I like to do is I pay attention to aha moments, right? Uh, the other week I had somebody comment on a post negatively. And normally it wouldn't bother me so bad, but – it pulled up a lot of old feelings because this same person that commented, she also stuck gum in my hair on the school bus in middle school and made my middle school years and high school years living hell, uh, totally bullied me. And she, it struck a nerve because whatever, we're adults now and who cares, but that moment it struck a nerve. And so I went and I did my workout and I got my frustrations out with Insanity Max 30. And then when I was done, I crafted a post on that. I didn't mention her name. I didn't, you know, tag her in it or anything like that. I should have. That would have been funny. <laughs> tag. Um, I didn't do anything like that. And I don't think my post was um, under the belt or like one of those kind of things where you're talking about somebody and like not actually confronting them. I don't think it was like that. I truly believe I was showing people my journey. But that was an aha moment for me. As I was doing that workout, I was like, I got to talk about this because that struck a nerve. My workout helped me get through that. And here I am now, right? We have a problem. We work through it. 
and we get to a solution. Charlie just came home. He's playing with the dog. Um, personal development helps me. When I'm stuck, you guys, I pull out old books. I get in, I, I get into my bookshelf, I pull out old books, and I just open it up and see what I've highlighted. Like, or it might be a book I'm reading currently, but I'll look and I'll see what did you highlight like a year ago, Brittany? What like was like, yes, a year ago. And I'll craft that into my own post. Um, faith, when I go to church um, or when I listen to faith-based podcasts or anything like that, guys, um, even just doing like meditative things uh, with yoga and um, I like to listen to meditative apps, those moments where I calm my mind, a lot of times that's something, something stirs in my heart and it's like, oh, I've got to talk about that, right? So that helps. And not to like discredit faith, but Pinterest. <laughs> I love how Pinterest came right after faith. It's like, Jesus, Pinterest. Um, <laughs> but Pinterest, guys, is, uh, it's a great tool for me to be inspired right? I don't necessarily go and carbon copy what I've got on Pinterest, but I use it to fuel me. Like if I can't figure out what the freak I'm going to say today. And I did that a big, I did that big time in the beginning of my business. Um, following other coaches is helpful. You don't want to steal what they're doing, but you can totally craft your post similar to how theirs is. If you like the way they sound and your voice is similar, absolutely follow other top coaches, go research who are some top coaches in this business. If you need some suggestions, um, I can totally give you some. Movies, music, situations, anything that's around you guys that's happening in life that, you know, you could use. If you um, have, if you've seen uh, Zootopia, Zootopia is like a great metaphor for what we do as female entrepreneurs, like as girl bosses, Zootopia is totally like a great movie for that. And you could use something like Zootopia to craft a post talking about what it is you do. Your daily life, again, that's my daily life. Like the day that girl pissed me off, that fueled my fire to, to craft a post. This picture right here is a coach and myself. And all it talks about is that we, we took our home office that day and we went to a coffee shop. And I talked about how I felt when I used to have a boss. And I, and I talked about um, just how that didn't work for me. Right. And that this, this business is a blessing for me now. Right. And so that's what I'm talking about. I'm using my daily life and talking about the old me and now this new version of me or where I'm going. Right. I'm not even where I'm at yet, but where I envision myself going and, and all that that entails. Right. So considering the old you is also super important guys. Thinking about where you were, thinking about who you are today, and thinking about where you're going as you're developing your brand. So lead with your brand. So let's talk through some things that I believe um, are important when we're looking at our brand. Your profile picture should be you or you should be clear in it. Why? Because when you start reaching out to perfect strangers, they need to know it's you. If you have a profile picture that's your cat, laying on the back of the couch. No offense, Mary. I know you love your cats. Um, and I'm totally not talking about you or your cats. Um, but that just popped in my head. So if it's your cat laying on the couch, right? Um, that's cool. I love your cat too, but nobody knows who you are. If your profile picture isn't you, your cover photo, like I said before, I encourage you to have it tell your fave five story. Spend some time um, this week and create a new cover photo on pickmonkey.com or Canva. They're very great resources that are super easy to use. With your brand, be interested in other people, not just interesting, right? So it can be very easy when we talk about the five things that interest us the most to kind of get a little self-centered with it. Make sure that it's interesting to other people in the sense that you're involving them in the process, right? When you're giving comments to people, ooh, typo, I before E except after C. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. Um, when you're giving comments on posts, comment like you would want to get it back, right? So there are so many times when I want to comment on somebody's post and tell them how I really feel about them, and then I remember that I wouldn't really like that myself, right? And so with your brand, you can't just like, um, and I see this a lot, and this is beyond just commenting on posts, but if you post today, that your life sucks and that your job sucks and that everything sucks and you can't just wait to go home and have a Coors Light and forget about life. And then tomorrow you say, join my challenge group. Let's do it. What message are you sending, right? Like I wouldn't know what message you're sending. If you're, um, 
if you only post about Shakeology or your workout, and it shouldn't be like Shakeology, buy this, or workout, do this, like showing what you're doing. If you only show people what you're doing two times a month, why the heck would I join your monthly challenge group? Because I don't even see you doing it for a month, right? You've got to build that trust with people. So it's so important, even if you're not in your business at a point where you are ready to just dive in and like totally give it your all, you've got to be developing your brand behind the scenes and showing people what you're doing so that if you are ready in a month or two to run challenge groups or whatever, you've got it, you've got that ammo already set, right? Um, post to add value, you guys. So I was in a bad habit of doing this when I first started because I wanted to post just to post just to post. But make sure that there's a little bit of value added and you'll get better as you go. But you know, thinking back to that, uh, going back to this, how to be inspired, right? If you have an aha moment, write it down. I usually keep a notepad near me when I'm doing yoga because I tend to think of things and I'm like, oh crap, I got to say that. And so I'll write something down, right? Um, so post to add value. Show them that you care about them and not a sale, right? So talking about what this group could do for them, what this workout could do for them, what Shakeology could do for them, what coaching in Inspire Beauty could do for them. And not just talking about um, what's currently on sale or how much Shakeology costs, et cetera, et cetera. If somebody tells you that they feel like they know you, if they're like, oh man, I feel like I know you, you have hit the jackpot. That is like the biggest compliment I get when people are like, man, you know, or like they come up to me and they're like, your post the other day. And I always want to be like, honey, which one? Like <laughs> I literally post all day. I have no idea what you're talking about, but that's a good thing. You want them to, to come alive by what they're watching on your social media. So no spammer links guys, just you, just you y'all just give, just be you, right? You don't have to put, you know, here's the link to my beach body page or here's this. And most of us don't do that, but I like to always just throw that in because it can be tempting. It can be tempting. Um, talk about what coaching provides. This is a big one because I think we're very clear on what our workouts provide and what our nutrition provides. But what does coaching provide? What does Inspire Beauty provide? Think of the lifestyle you get to live. Think of the friendships you've made. Think of the freedom that maybe you don't have just yet, but maybe is on the horizon for you. Um, think about the fun things. Like maybe you've signed up for Coach Summit and that's going to be really fun. The events we get to go to. Um, a super Saturday. There's a new super Saturday coming up in April in your in cities near you. So that's a fun event that you can get plugged into just things like that. Um, and solutions to your problem that I, that exercise that I did the other day with the 20 bucks that we all got from the health bet. If you participate in the health bet, you earned that $20 that got paid out. And I did that exercise on purpose, you guys, because $20 yeah, I know you might say $20, like who cares, whatever. This business gave me $20. You know what? First of all, $20 is half of the cost it is to sign up. It's only $40 to sign up as a coach. You have your own business for $40. There is no franchise in the world that you could ever get for $40, right? And that's it. And so your $20 already paid half of your sign-up fee. Or your $20 is a coffee date with a friend that you care deeply about. $20 could be a small gift for somebody. $20 could be a brand new book that you that is going to change your life. $20 could be some new workout gear, right? Like $20 is more than just a little thing. And so it's important, like show that, that that's a solution. That's providing me this, right? And share that, you know, you don't have to like hundred dollar bills. Like you don't have to like share the money and like all that, but craft a post that tells that craft something that's showing people. This is what this business provides me. Use the BFF rule, meaning, how do you talk to your friends? Talk like that on social media, right? You don't have to talk and be all different on social media. And I've, been, I've started to get better about this. The way that I talk on social media is very much the way I would talk to somebody if they were sitting across from me, right? And so read it out loud, right? Read it out loud and see, like, is this how I sound? Like, do I sound like me? Um, again, don't be a carbon copy. You can follow other coaches, but don't copy them. I love when I see our teammates posting very similar things, but it's adjusted to their own voice. I love that because it lets me know that you're duplicating successful posts that you're like that flattery, right? That's awesome. Like that it's, it's so awesome to want to duplicate, but that you were, um, smart enough 
not to just copy it verbatim, right? That you made it sound like you. Um, take the time to speak your voice and dribble, like dribble your story into it. You don't have to go out on social media tonight and bam, like this is my brand, guys. This is my five things that I love doing. This is my name and this is what I do and, and thank you for following me. You don't have to do that. Dribble it slowly. On Monday, I'm gonna dribble in this part of my brand. And on Tuesday, I want people to know this part of my brand. And on Wednesday, et cetera, et cetera, okay? All right, we're gonna do, ugh, I'm running out of time. Okay, let's try something real quick. Um, go to your Facebook page, either on your phone or on your computer, go. And click on your photo tab when you get to your personal page. And when you get to the photo tab, click on, um, I think, photos of you. And I want you to do a gut check real quick. Like a real hard gut check. And if you just started this business like yesterday, Amanda, I, this gut check is not that hard. <laughs> You can, <laughs> obviously. Okay, so not photos of you, your photos is what I want you to click on. And as you scroll through, is that, like, what is that brand? Is there continuity to it? Are you stuck on one thing very often? Is it something that, um, what, is it all over the place? Do I know you? Is it, are you in it? Or are you sharing mostly other stuff? Um, of other people or, or just pictures that don't have you in it. Um, you know, as I look through mine, I, I can see places for improvement and I can also, and I do this regularly, you guys. I love to do this regularly because I like to see what I look like from an outsider, right? Do I look like, what does my brand look like? Well, obviously I can tell there's fitness going on. This, every time I see a coach thing, okay, this is, I'm doing like business stuff here. There's my wine, here's some food, there's Charlie. Okay, Charlie. Charlie made a lot of appearances this weekend. There's three back to back and I did not like that. No offense, Charlie. But I did do three back to back, like Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Obviously I was super in love this weekend. Still am. But um, I should have mixed some other things in there just simply because of my brand, right? Um, but as I scroll down, and so the one that I had kind of picked on our slide here is I picked this screenshot, and this screenshot I thought was a good one. It gave a really great idea of you've got a Shakeology in here while I'm working at my computer. There's a quote. You can see some uh, new coach added. You can see Team Cup Face Off. What was that all about? There's food here. There's some wine. There's Frankie. Um, this was after my workout. You've got your personal development. And here I've got um, the post actually talked about date night with Charlie. So that was in the story that I was telling was kind of intertwined with the picture. Okay. But look at that and use that as a tool regularly to check yourself, right? Check yourself to see, am I really sticking to my five? And am I sprinkling them evenly? And your five basics, remember, can have a ton of other subcategories under it but the, there should be five main threaded themes, okay? So how do you make it shine? Speak your mind, guys. Don't dull your shine out of fear, okay? Don't do that. Don't let the fear of what someone's gonna think of your post, unless your post is truly harmful to somebody, don't let that dull you. Do not let that happen. Include yourself in these pictures, okay? People wanna see you. They wanna see your transformation. They wanna see what's happening in your life. Um, Again, say it out loud. Does it sound like you? Make sure it aligns with the fave five. Don't be salesy. Share the day today. So again, getting on social media, if there's one thing you start doing in your business, sharing your day-to-day -day life. You're not life casting. You're not the Kardashians, right? But you are giving people a sample of what it is like to follow a fitness routine, right? And be healthy. Create curiosity. You don't have to post every single detail, right? Um, so there was one that I had as a, an example, but I can't remember which one it is exactly right now, but create curio curiosity for people so that people have to ask about it, right? Like, oh, I was, yesterday I posted the meatloaf, right? And I didn't give people the recipe. I didn't give them the recipe. Why? Because I'm going to put it on my blog. But 
people ask for the recipe. So I'm creating curiosity. Oh, where'd you find that? Well, how'd you make it? I want to do that, right? So creating the curiosity. Sometimes I offer them the recipe. So I don't always take the recipe away. Sometimes I give it freely, but you got to balance that out. Sometimes you give a recipe and tell them how you did it. Sometimes you don't tell them how you did it so that you can privately message them later and tell them how you did it, right? And build that connection. Prompt them in your post to take action. Message you. Um, click like. Share your favorite whatever, you know, whatever. The sky's the limit. But again, they buy from you because of the person that you are, guys, not because of the products you sell. They could go on Amazon. They could go on Beachbody.com. They could go um, and call after they're drunkenly watching an infomercial late at night. Like, they have a lot of options to order our products. But they buy it from you because of who you are. And so you got to show up to that. So here's some homework um, that I just want you to consider as you're crafting posts. And we've got less than a minute, so this is just kind of, I'm going to take a little screenshot of this and uh, we're going to share this in the team page after this so you can look at it again. But share how you make or made Beachbody happen. Fitness, coaching, both are encapsulating this. Did you overcome any money objections? Did you have pushback? What other obstacles are you often working to overcome in this fitness journey? Why are you glad that you didn't give up and how is your life better because of whatever number one was, right? And so I want you to craft a post. I want you to craft a post, and if you wanna try it out on the team page first and share it there, more than welcome to, and we can give you feedback, and then you can post it on your page if you're wanting that. Um, but let's make it happen, guys. Start making it happen, how you're going to um, speak to your brand, right? Hey, guys, oh my gosh, look at all these friends. I didn't even see everybody. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick picture before I get kicked off. Ah! Everybody smile. Okay, so sorry, I was panicking and I really wanted the picture. Um, I'm gonna post this though recording and I'm gonna post uh, the PowerPoint and that, but I want you guys to really start looking at how you craft your posts. Okay, you guys? I hope this brand stuff helped. Share in the team page any questions or comments or concerns you have. We'll take it there and uh, have a great night, you guys.